What does your team look like today? How many people are on it? How is it structured? Well, it's very important to understand yeah. the way the business is structured because one of the things that I'm not trying to do is be like the boss because I'm not. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a really good speaker, storyteller, like on the creative side, I got that down, but I am not really a good manager. I, I've had experience managing and leading and to a degree I'm decent at it, but it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm not good at regular communication with people. I'm kind of like, like uh, bipolar with people. I'm like super cool with you. And then like, I'll like under, I'll, I'll see like one thing that I don't like that you're doing. And now it's like, well, now I don't like you at all anymore. And, <laughs> oh, no. and, and like, unfortunately it's like, that's, that's horrible. Like you can't run, you yeah. can't build a team that way. Uh, and so uh, I knew that about myself. And so when I, when the YouTube channel was doing really, really well, like early on, I was starting to get like, you know, requests to do sponsored segments and, and all that. And I just didn't really even know what to do. I just like kind of ignored everything. Um, and then I, I, uh, I, I got reached out to by this company called uh, Night Media. They do all this talent management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. Were, yeah, 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 yeah. I had been approached by a couple other people that were in the talent management space to like be my manager, uh, and it made sense. You know, I need a manager to deal with these sponsor segments and stuff. And I just I didn't want to work with anybody because I'm like so worried about how I'm going to handle like being around these other people. Uh, but Nick, uh, he hit me up, and he was like the only dude out of all the people that reached out to me that didn't really have a pitch. Everybody else was like, oh, I can expand your business this way and do this, 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 this. And he was like, hey, dude, like I was in the military too. You know, I don't really know what you need. You know, if you need help, I'm happy to help you. Like, let me know. And I was like, that dude seems cool. And then I proceeded to immediately blow him off completely when he was, he asked me to take a call with him and I blew him off because I was like busy. But then I called him, like cold yeah. called him. Uh, and I was like, I was at that point where, and I'm sure maybe you can relate to this. I don't know. But like, I knew that I was like the YouTube business was a real business, mm -hmm. but it just felt like I was running around with my hair on fire. Like I'm like last second getting uploads done, like so stressed, like just working 24 seven, but making, you're not really getting ahead. You're just like trying to keep the lights. <laughs> yeah. You're just trying Treading to keep water. things. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, I could feel myself starting to slip. Like I was missing uploads and I was like really burnt out. And I like poured my heart out to Nick. I'm like, dude, I don't know you. This is my first interaction with you, but you seem cool. But I'm like falling apart here, dude. And I, I have like trust issues with like other people I've worked with. I'm I'm not good at like leading teams. <laughs> like I'm not good at it. I need someone who can like really step in and and like do everything else so that I can just do storytelling. And Nick's like, all right, cool, man. And like true to his word, like the dude, he's right over there. You can't see him. He's a looks like a Viking to give mm -hmm. you a, a, he a visual. I mean, that's a intimidating presence in right there. Yeah, bodyguard, really. Yeah, yeah. literally, he's, he's doubled as my bodyguard yeah. several times. Um, but yeah, no, he uh, Nick is so his background is he's combat vet. Um, he was a lawyer and he also worked at WME talent mm -hmm. talent management, mm -hmm. so the best stars in the world. He came over to Night Media doing digital mm -hmm. uh, talent management. He was uh, one of the managers for Mr. Beast, and so he'd like done like the highest level of digital management. Yeah. Uh, and we just like hit it off, and I could just tell Nick had all the skills that I didn't in terms of building a business. And so we went from uh, me, an editor, and a topic finder who didn't even work out. The topic finder was finding like zero topics. So really, it was me and an editor. Uh, to now we have 37 employees. 37? No, is that <laughs> full time or is that like yeah. some people? What? We have 37 employees. We have. Oh my um, gosh. How many are in the United States? All but two. All, All but, two. but two? Oh my gosh. What in the. I had I, no idea. I would assume it's like you and like five people, max. Well, so there's, there's <laughs> so. There's. There's. There's a there, lot of facets. There's a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, sure. yes. there's a lot of moving So parts. we have like on the only, so the only thing I do is I take scripts that are written and then I work with them to make them sound like me because I have a very particular way I want to sound. And then I tell the story and the way I tell stories is I like study the story and like embody it and then I tell it. It's not, a, I'm not reciting a script, no. you know? Uh, and so that takes up like a lot of time and mental space and like, but that's what I do. I go to my studio and I record stories. I don't do anything else. I, I don't hire anybody. I don't fire anybody. I don't sit on meetings. I don't, I don't do anything. I'm like a 
I'm an employee of the company because like I know my strength. Like I, I know what I'm really good at and I know what I'm not. And Nick came in and he has all the skills to like build a business and he has all the relationships wow. and the drive. And so he, uh, we ended up leaving night media to form our own studio. So ball and studios awesome, yep. since August, 2022, we formed ball and studios and Nick just went, he hired and fired so many people. And now we have like, it's like a world-class team of people. It's, it's, I sat on the first Friday meeting last Friday, the first one in a long time. Yeah. Uh, and like the, the last one I was on, there was like five people on it. And now it's like, there's like 80, all these different blocks of zoom people. And it's like all these like brilliant yeah. people that are like doing these incredible things within our organization. And it's like, yeah, like I noticed you're posting <laughs> everywhere. Like even your Facebook has like almost 4 million people on there. Yeah. So I'm sure a lot of that's like syndicating to all these platforms and yeah. like building these businesses off of it. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean the thing, the thing that it has, we're still working on, but I think we're pretty good at doing is everywhere things get posted, whether they're being handled by a third party or they're being handled by a team member or whatever, they have to feel like a genuine, like Mr. Ballin post. It can't become like, you know, random crap that nobody, nobody yeah. thinks I'm posting it. They yeah. think somebody else is. And so to do that requires an enormous amount of training. Like you, you don't get to just come in and, oh, hey, write a script or, oh, oh, like do some research over here. Like, no, there's a formula to it. And like, you know, the, right now the, the head of production for us is actually my sister who's, she's, She's a two-time Pulitzer Prize winning yeah. brainiac. She's wow. super smart. But she's developed like a course that people go through just to learn how to like begin to write. You don't even, you're not even a writer yet. You go through three months of she's editing you. It reminds me like the seals, That's of, crazy. The seals of writing. So that she, is impressive. So she's editing you as well as uh, my dad, who also is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. And he's, he was the head of the spotlight team. So like the movie spotlight where Michael Keaton's the lead. So yeah. Michael Keaton like worked with my dad to like learn how to play him in the movie. Oh my gosh. And so we have these like incredibly talented professional writers and editors that like put our writers through like the Mr. Ball and boot camp, And it's, we've, only hired like a handful of writers after the whole thing. And they're so good. And the topic finders what, are so good. What I love about your style is it still seems like I'm just talking to you. You know what I mean? It yeah, seems like yeah. a campfire story. It's very it. intimate. It's not like Thank all you. this crazy editing, all the, it's just so real. You yeah. know what I mean? And Perfect. I think that it fits yeah. the theme so well. So it's very shocking. I like, I wouldn't say I'm super shocked because I could, I could see the views. I could see, you know, how big you are on all these different platforms. So I assume it's a massive operation, but it is still like a little bit shocking. It's 37 yeah. people. And you know what? Oh. It, the, the, the thing about the 37 employees is that nobody has, and I'm not just saying this because I'm on this podcast. Nobody has a job that you're like, why, why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. Or like, why do we have someone do that? Like those positions are gone. Like, you have an opportunity when you come in to work with us to like, we want people to like come in as like an assistant and then have blue sky as it's for, yeah, blue sky. You can become a writer if you want. You can become an on-screen person for a new show. Like no one's stopping you. You gotta do the stuff you're responsible for and there's intense training for it that's all filtered through Nick. Yeah. But like everybody knows that like we are expanding in every direction. I would love to see different offshoots of just yeah. like different stories and different yeah. segments. I mean, as it is, we you know we have uh, bedtime stories, the the amazing YouTube channel that they now are under the Ballin Studios umbrella, wow. doing a podcast with us. We just launched that. Uh, it's like top twenty across the board. I think at one point it was top ten. It's kind of hanging around the top twenty mark. Uh, we also, uh, and when I say we very liberally, Nick is the one doing all of this. I'm just yeah. staying in my studio telling stories. Nick understands talent yeah. management, having been in it. And so he started a talent management business. So we have like Nexpo and we have Nick Crowley who are being under, they're under our management wing and they're loving it. Like they're, we're helping them hire writers. We're going to researchers. Everybody is actually playing a pretty meaningful role. And there's like department head meetings every Friday and like everybody better come to the table with like what you're doing. Cause it's going to be really obvious if your department's not doing anything. Not that I would know cause I'm not yeah. on those meetings, but Nick tells me and that's what yeah. happens. So